Alright guys, hey girl, hey. So we're in the Uber right now on our way to the airport. <laughs> I'm so excited. We are on our way to the airport, finally. I'm so excited. Um, kicking off the Iceland vlog, let's go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, it's gonna be so much fun. Like, what other way to say it but that. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way to the airport right now. I'm in the Uber. Um, so far, I believe I'm making good time. And yeah, I'll see y'all when I'm checked in and everything because I don't want to do the hustle and bustle. So yeah, I'll see y'all when I'm at the airport or maybe when I'm on the airplane. But yes, we are in motion. What's it going? Do you want to go? Oh, depends. Ride the whip. I know people. Fresh off the flight, looking real crazy in Iceland. Huh? Um, so we just landed. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, it's about to be a fucking adventure, guys. Um, it is dead in here. We're not getting water. We're not getting water, okay? Number one thing that you don't do is buy water in Iceland. Okay. And Sinatar. This says toilets. Toilets will be downstairs. Yes, exactly. I read the English. We are landed. We have two things to do. Get the Wi-Fi box, get our luggage, and I need to use the bathroom. But we are here. Okay, I'm back. Update. <laughs> the last time you saw me, I look completely different. I look like I'm actually in Iceland now, don't I? I'm still in the airport. Um, I'm waiting for the shuttle bus to come pick us up to bring us to our rental car. Um, it was a journey trying to find this place. When we went outside, we had, of course, we would arrive to Iceland with a warm welcome. And by warm welcome, I mean snow. It's snowing outside. It's freezing. Um, I have a, like, I have to get the jack. Like, oh my goodness, like, but yes. Um, we're waiting at this sign right here that this guy told us to wait at. This orange. Can you see that? This orange. Let me back up. Let me see it better. Okay. But we're at this meeting point and this man is supposed to come here and check um and supposed to check often and bring us to our rental car place but yeah so far the people here are really really nice um very very helpful um they definitely do have an accent and um yeah i'll just let y'all know more as time goes on 
Oh, and I found out we did get liquor. We bought liquor in the airport because it was suggested to get liquor at the airport because it's duty free and it's the best because liquor outside of the airport is super expensive, I heard. Um, we got a really, we got a nice size bottle for $24. We got vodka. I'm not really the biggest fan of vodka, but um, I was looking around the store and all they had, the main things they had were gin, vodka, and um, gin and vodka. And they had a they had a small session of te tequila, but the tequila was like, um, it was a small section. It was something that we already knew we wanted to try something more local and something that, you know, local to the place that you're at so we saw that they really are heavy on vodka here so we asked a representative for a recommendation of what kind of vodka to get and he gave us that recommendation the camera's about to die and with that being said i have to preserve the battery so that we can get as much footage as we can till the next time we see each other again because it's six o'clock in the morning and we don't actually check into our hotel until three o'clock so we have ways and things to do and i don't want y'all to miss out on the fun so bye guys <laughs> i just wanted to come back on here to say we finally found the shuttle bus finally found the shuttle bus it was hard as hell to find um although people knew the rental car company and knew where to go the guy was never gonna come inside we were like you know we're gonna go get a taxi we went to go venture out to go get a taxi and thankfully people are so nice here they're not trying to rob you for your dollar we went to go to the taxi we're like okay we're trying to go to a rental car um go uh go car the rental car place and she's like they have a free shuttle and then you know she darked us to them and she's like no that's a shuttle right there and finally we found the shuttle so glory be to god but yes <sighs> all right guys it's no let me show y'all a little bit this is what iceland is looking like literally ice welcome to iceland and the ice literally can't even see nothing and i am at um a restaurant called what is it it's called El Bistro. Bistro? Right? El Bistro. No, 101 Bistro. 101 Bistro. I got it. The restaurant is called 101 Bistro. And it is a cute little spot downtown in Reshevik. Um, It's still day one. We are still, we still haven't checked into the hotel yet because it's still not ready. But we are. Ah, thank, thank you. you. That I ordered because I cannot drink because we have no food in our system. But I am looking forward to uh, doing all that later. But as I was saying, um, we still haven't checked into our hotel yet. We did get an upgrade to the room. I can't wait to see it. Um, just waiting for the room to be ready. So we're eating right now. And then after we eat, um, we're just gonna roam around a little bit, then go to the hotel. And I think the activity for tonight is we're gonna go out. And I got that right. Because tomorrow we have the Blue Lagoon. So tonight I think we're gonna go out. But we'll see, we'll see. I just want to check in with y'all. I'll show you how I play when I get it. And I just, you know, wanna make sure that I'm just doing a good job, being a good vlogger on this Iceland trip so y'all can see Iceland. Uh, with me. Anyways, bye. Literally rushing. I don't even know if y'all can see me for real, for real. Okay. literally rushing to go outside you can't even see me but this is my outfit and then i got some gloves Still think about the times we had us 
Oh I'm really God. excited, guys. This is literally just day one. We literally had a very long day one trying to find the airport, the find, get out of the airport, find the airport shuttle, make it to our Airbnb, and not, I'm sorry, make it to the, um, make it to the uh, the sorry the car rental place then make it to the hotel then getting checked into the hotel then finding food it was just like day one was just like day one is always especially when you come to a very 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 foreign place um and we landed so early in the morning where it was just like the access and the things that were open were just so limited so we really just had to stretch time in certain areas but nonetheless i am so excited for tomorrow because we are going to Blue Lagoon. And of course, like, how you gonna come all the way to Iceland, baby? And I go to Blue Lagoon. So I'm really excited to go to Blue Lagoon tomorrow. And then we're gonna explore the city of Reykjavik as well tomorrow after we go to Blue Lagoon. And that should be really, really fun. So, like I said, day one was just kind of just like, you know settling in getting it together getting some cash you know getting some food getting into the place like you know how that goes you know but tomorrow we're gonna start the activities and i am excited i am excited things that i did do off camera that i didn't show you was i did like house um house viewing so we went through some neighborhoods and we saw the architecture and just saw like how they built the homes and that's something that i like doing when i travel and i go at, like basically anywhere i like to just look at the home and architecture i'm really big on that because one day baby my home my forever home it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be top 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 tier but um yeah and thank y'all so much for just um a vibing with me don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and thank y'all so much for kicking it with me and let's just keep going on with this vlog i'm so excited i'll see y'all tomorrow it's a volcano y'all oh my goodness it's a volcano i haven't seen a volcano in person the only time i see a volcano is in the history books and the geography books seventh grade <laughs> distinctively i remember science class Okay, so right now we're at the Blue Lagoon and I am so excited. Yo, it is beautiful here. It is so beautiful, I'm so excited. We're walking up right now. Little glimpse from the parking lot. But, yes girl, we are at the Blue Lagoon today. So excited, people are taking their photos, of course. Look, that's what I'm about to do right now. Okay guys, so we finished taking our photos and actually, 
kind of annoyed right now because we weren't able to figure out the charging for our rental car. Oh, I'm trying to fix my... Ugh. We're walking in right now on our way to the lagoon and I'm so excited. Let me show y'all the pathway. A sun just beamed in my eye. Oh my god. I'm on my way to the oh wow look at this look at this y'all this look no one and then you can go down back into the lagoon this way this is no where is the sauna though great Tell him quit that cap. 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 Tell him quit that Oh my goodness, my face looks crazy, but we're in the lobby now. Um, I guess this is the door, the mask. This is the store, we're in the store right now. We're leaving. The lava scrub, Alley Mouth. How you looking? The um the moisture anti aging. Where's the deep moisturizer? Conditioner. Oh, 66 North is literally everywhere in Iceland. This brand, if you don't own, that's like, if you don't have a 66 North and you live in Iceland, are you from Iceland? Guinea Goose. Here I am. And then we didn't even go down here. Oh, they have the same thing, basically. Yeah. Ooh, nice. And you can see the lagoon um, in here.
the restaurant. Welcome to the Lava Restaurant. It looks nice. Mm. That's it. Yeah, well, you can go in. Have a look. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it looks really nice. Yeah. This right here looks like it would be downtown Manhattan. <laughs> or uptown, I would say. Uptown, downtown. Well, that's a wrap, y'all. Guys, what's up? We are back outside and we are at a waterfall right now. I am so excited. So, what, what's the name of this waterfall? I don't want to butcher the name, but. Hold on, let me go ahead. I'll do it this way. Let me show y'all. Look at this waterfall. We're gonna go, we're gonna be able to go closer, but I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna show you this waterfall from a distance. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. Wow, you know what's crazy? I feel the water on my face and I'm not even that close. You feel it? The mist of the water. Wow. I feel the water. This is how far I am from the water. I'm so close, but so far away and I feel the water on my face. Like the mist, like splash. Wow. So pretty, y'all. So pretty. Got the moon in the sky. Look guys, they're riding horses. Yeah. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Oh, where'd you guys get the ponies? Huh. The ponies? How did you guys get the po Like, did you rent them? You bought them? Yeah. Oh, they're your ponies. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh. Your ponies are beautiful. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Hi. Can I can I pet your pony? Yes. Oh can you record this major whole trip? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Hello. And then you have another friend over here. This is small, so this is the mom? No, this is a he? He. He. That one is a sheep. That's a sheep. Oh, oh. she has a bang. <laughs> oh. She has a bang. Wow, so cute. Okay. Okay, I don't need okay, to okay, interrupt but... you anymore. No problem. No, there's no problem. Thank you so much. It's so nice that you guys have these fogies. So guys, as you guys can see, today we had a jam-packed day. We went to the waterfalls and then we went to the um, Black Sand Beach, which was gorgeous, by the way. Did you guys see those shots? Did you guys see that? Those pants, like, oh my goodness. And the waves are so high. You can, That's not a beach you can swim in. Don't even try it, sis. You can't swim there. It's just for views. It's just for the aesthetics. It's just for the vibe. And the town, the people. The lady, what a flex. How are you riding on a white pony on um on a white pony on the black sand beach that you own? Like what? Talk about who you know. Her. I know her. I touched her pony. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, that's what we did today and um yeah. In the hotel room as y'all can see, 
hotel apartment room as y'all can see and we stopped at the grocery store and got some groceries then i wanted to just show y'all what we got from the grocery store our little 60 dollars iceland grocery store order so let me show y'all some of the team capri suns fairy dream capri suns and multivitamin are the flavor can y'all see that multivitamin and very something. There you go. Then we got some cup of noodles, macaroni. Cup of noodles, macaroni. Then we have this pasta looking. I don't know. It comes with pasta, chicken, egg, tomato and corn and mustard sauce this is what that looks like i got this capri sun it's mango and marcajua passion fruit mango and passion fruit fire uh refilled on the bon aqua big old sparkling water got some cup of noodles spicy noodles really excited for that one regular noodles regular noodles got these nuggets right here and then we also got some frosted flakes really excited about this as well to eat in the morning um for some juice some minute made tropical punch their um things are so organic everything's organic grass-fed natural no gmo so their tropical punch is amazing and then we got some whole milk for my cereal and we got last but not least some iced tea and that is what I got at the grocery store. At Iceland grocery store. It was called Iceland. So I'm about to put these up right now. Put them in the Ooh. Yeah, okay. I just slid on. The fridge, it kind of looks a little packed. But food. Food that we bought. Leftover food that we bought. And these things. So that we can just be a little bit more efficient here because if you guys didn't know iceland is so expensive it is about three times more expensive than u.s it's about it. according to funfact.com iceland is one of the eight eight most expensive place to live or most expensive countries so therefore one of the things i highly recommend for you to do is to buy your own groceries as soon as you come here and budget well for food because it is expensive food is a very very expensive the street food here is costly they say street food but you can spend 60 to 70 usd on some street food it's not even um it is going to be like gourmet to a extent where it's fresh and it's nice and it's going to taste good because everything here tastes really really good but it's not going to be a sit down meal necessarily speaking you know what i mean and it's not going to be something where the waiter's taking your order the chef's in the back you're like it's not a whole three course menu for you spending 150 dollars, but you easily can so be cautious of that but anyways Right now, I'm about to change my clothes, change into some bedtime clothes, and then I'm going to eat. And um, I'm going to knock out for the night because we're going to take it easy tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to tour the city, and then we're going to go out in the night. I'm really trying to make it out to do a nightlife in Reykjavik, but as y'all can see, I am tired right now. You can hear it in my voice. I'm tired. Um, but I really want to make it out tomorrow night, so I'm about to take a nap during the day and yeah um tour the city and go to catch the northern lights but i hope you guys really enjoyed today's uh vlog 
and i think i'm gonna end it here um i think part one of iceland i'm gonna end here and we're gonna pick it back up um in, for part two and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe and um if you guys are just loving this iceland series keep watching because there's gonna be a part two so come back for some more and thank you so much bye guys bye